Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Gorhamian, as always, with Misfits Studios um, on another little tutorial on Space Engineers. So we are back at our little alien planet, okay? And one of the little objectives, of course, if you watched the previous video, is to build a little... Build, build additions onto... Um, our space, our, well, our little alien planet base, okay? And so, first and foremost, we're gonna go down to our toolbar, and it's gonna show everything default within creative mode and that it comes up in those little placeholders, okay? To bring up the toolbar configure menu, which is the G key. So anyways, when you pull up your toolbar configure menu, it will show every single block that you can place, place within Space Engineers. To access any of these and put these down in your toolbar you can't build them from the configure menu you have to bring them down into your actual toolbar down here on the bottom okay so light armor block is going to be one of the most this is a large block um so the light armor block is going to be something that you can use to you know build your base it's already defaulted down here with the heavy armor block the cockpit a uh, small reactor um, ion thrusters, atmospheric thrusters, gyroscope, wheel suspension, 3x3 three three for the right side, um, sliding door, and your hide weapon, or basically turn, bring your hands back out, your free hands, okay? So what we're going to do is I want to actually replace this heavy armor block with a hydrogen engine, as opposed to the atmospheric or the ion, okay? So we're going to actually type in HY, and it'll bring up hydrogen and hydrogen thrusters, excuse me. We're going to drag those down into whatever place you want to put them we put them in number two and we're going to hit the escape or you can come up here and hit the little x so it's going to bring up the um whatever you have selected so i've got two so this is going to be a hydrogen engine as you can see hydrogen thruster excuse me um as you can see it, it wants to place that down left click places things and in um Creative mode, right-click, deletes them, just like creative mode in Minecraft. I know I keep, you know, kind of mentioning that back and forth in the last video as well, but a lot of the controls and the way things kind of work are relatively the same. They're the same, but different. Let's put it that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring up number one, which is our light armor block. As you can see down on the toolbar, within next to that little block is a little cross, a little white cross. What that means is... It has different selections that are the same type of block. So if you look over here, this light armor bo block can be changed into a light armor slope, a corner, a inverted corner, um, half block, and a half slope. Okay. Now, to do that, you scroll up and down on your mouse wheel. It will change the different types of blocks, as you can see. Okay. Right-click to delete as always and so let's go down and build a little pad to work from how about that we're gonna hit the uh whatever you've got that defaulted as like if it's two or five or seven or whatever you know key you've got that put on if you're on a different um different shape and you want it back to the default back to the cube you hit that twice so i hit number one twice and we're gonna just build a little Build a little pad that we can do some crafting and creating. And of course, this is going to take forever to left click the entire time. And so a little shortcut, we're going to come up above here, highlight whatever block you want to start, hit the control and left mouse button, hold those both down together and move left or right. And it'll place down a single line. You can actually do the exact same thing. Control left mouse button and go up. And it'll go up or left or behind you. Or whatever direction your crosshair is relative to that block. It will put down a line. The exact same thing goes for deleting. Hit the left control. Or hit control. Right mouse button. Drag over. Let go of everything. And it'll delete that row. The exact same thing for the directions above you. Okay. Okay. So now, instead of, maybe we want to make a large plane as opposed to just, you know, sitting there adding row after row after row. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight whatever position we want to start in, okay? Control shift, left mouse button, and it'll bring down an entire plane. 
and it'll show you, you know, your total blocks. And you can also go up with it too. And so we're gonna just throw that down, let go of everything, it'll just toss down a plane for you. So now we've got a little platform that we can start our building process on, okay? Um, so what we wanna do is you can build in these large blocks or small blocks. If you hit your hotkey, whatever, you know, shortcut key that you've got on your toolbar, so if my light armor block was number five where the ion thrusters are, then you would hit five one more time, okay? So now it brings it down to a small block. The exact same rules apply to small blocks as they do large blocks. If you want to change it, you hit your mouse wheel, up or down, it'll scroll through the different, the different blocks, okay? Now, the interesting thing with small blocks is they are not connected to large blocks, okay? So we're going to put that large block down, hit small block again, so you can't connect that. It's not going to give you, you just want to build more large blocks on it, okay? Of course, obviously, if you're standing in the way, it's not going to want to place the block. And so you can actually see, you can push these around, you know? Of course, the more blocks you have, the harder it's going to be pushed because the more mass, you know, the heavier they're going to be. So let's go ahead and delete these little guys so they're not in the way. Okay, and we're going to actually go to... I don't know why I'm turning my dampeners off. We're going to go up and just kind of build something something different. Not, nothing in particular, just to kind of show you how the um, block rotation works. Okay, so we're going to pick a slope, full slope. We're going to put that down. And we're going to do a little invert slope. Now, if you notice up in the right hand corner, there's a cube with different home end, delete, page down. Those correspond with the keys on your keyboard. Now, this light armor corner that I'm using um, is not on the right rotation. It's not in the right, correct um, orientation, excuse me. Um, I want it pointing towards me. And so what we're going to do is we're actually look at those little um, shortcuts up there. And if you hit delete, it will rotate that block 90 degrees in that rotation, in that direction. So we hit delete one more time. See, it's bringing it back up. Um, we want that corner to be rotated 90 degrees away from us. So we're going to hit the home key and it'll bring it up to the position that we want. Hit left mouse button and we're going to throw it down. We're going to put another one on this side. And as you can see, it's in the same orientation as the last time you placed it. And that's going to be the case with any time, any time that you're going to be building. Um, so if we hit our page down, It'll rotate at 90 degrees in the direction that we want it. Just be mindful of that little cube. You can turn it off in the settings to give your, you know, a little more room. I don't even pay any attention to it anymore because you just kind of, over the time of building things, you just kind of learn um, what direction, what keys go where, okay? So we're just going to put these little, you know, half corners in and, you know, now we've got this smooth, sleek looking little ram thing. A bobber, I guess. Now, let's say you want to change the color of the block that you're placing. You know, you don't like the typical default gray. It looks boring. So we're going to change the color. First and foremost, though, we're actually going to um, change the day, the time of day, because I can't see nothing. So, and to do that, what you hit is Alt F10, and it'll bring up the admin screen. Just make sure you're highlighted under admin tools. It is default, and then this time of day offset. Move this slider back and forth until the sun, you know, revolves around whatever planet you're on. Just a little tip. That obviously isn't going to be the case with survival mode because you can't change the time of day. You'll have to wait till the sun comes up. Um, so now, what we're going to do is to change the color of said block that we're going to place. You hit the left and right brackets, and if you notice underneath your artificial horizon you can see that color also changes little blocks as red um, green blue yellow white black back to the default color and so um, well not quite default let's hit that one more time goes back to the default color or as close to the default color as possible because obviously it doesn't look like that's maybe it's because it's in the shadow no, that's just a different color altogether. Okay, that's a little different. So maybe Space Engineers doesn't know what their default color is. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other future Space Engineers tutorials or any videos that we put out. And we will see you guys next time.